Hi, I'm Rashonda, and so I'm going to be doing a video about, well, it's a bunch of circumcision comments that I got on my video about not circumcising my son. So, um, the first one is, the circumcision questions are obviously jokes. People just don't randomly ask pregnant women if they plan on circumcising their sons. The people who are asking you know your stand on circumcision and already know you're not going to. They're just being retarded. Get a clue, Rashonda. Um, well, no, because a lot of women who are either against circumcision or would never do it to their kids do it. Like, who don't agree with it or whatever. Um, do it for their man, whoever they're with. Um... And then they regret it later. Which sucks. Um, it's been on parenting sites and such where women have circumcised their sons for their husbands or significant other or whatever you want to call it. And then regret it later. So, it's not retarded. And I do have a clue. Thanks though. Um, the next one is... Rashonda, please address other issues like female genital mutilation, like breast implants, and like women getting labia reductions. Okay, so my fight is circumcision, not female genital mutilation, since that's actually against the law. Um, but, just for your information, FGM is illegal, in America anyways, and because women are protected, so... I like babies and stuff, so they have the choice when they're an adult, which is, I feel the same that males should have that. So yeah, women choose breast implants and labia reductions and such as adults. No one's going to do a breast implant on their baby, and labia reduction, no one, everyone's against that too, and that's a general mutilation. But circumcision, little boys aren't protected, so people like me have to speak out against it and maybe help even save one little boy. Okay, so, Rashonda, what if the baby's born with some sort of phimosis on those cases in the, he wrote on, but I'm guessing he meant in. In those cases, what should parents do? Okay, well, pretty much all babies are born with phimosis. Phimosis. So, the foreskin isn't supposed to be retracted. You don't retract your baby's foreskin. You just leave it. Um, if you can pee, let it be. Lots of issues are caused because people retract the baby's foreskin when you're not supposed to. You never retract a little boy's um, foreskin. It's fused to the glands. Only he should retract it when he's older. That's not something you ever have to do as a parent. Okay, so the next comment was actually spammed. And so by like viewers and so here it is um I think you should get it done it does not hurt babies but it will hurt a lot if you're an adult you're apparently too immature to even have a child you should have an abortion until you grow up but he couldn't even spell until right he's bro I till nice spelling for an adult okay so anyways you're the you're obviously the one who's immature I mean Saying it doesn't hurt babies? Yeah, right. Get real. Babies feel pain, too. And, you know what? Even if circumcision was painless, which it isn't, obviously, I still wouldn't get my son circumcised because it's his body. It's his choice. It's not my body. It's not my penis. It's not my choice. You should really grow up, be the one who should grow up and educate yourself. Okay. So, the last one that I took from the comments on that video is, I don't see the issue with getting circumcised. I, guys, who didn't have it done, and they were made fun of because they weren't normal. So I guess he means I know guys. Maybe in your culture it's different. I respect your decisions, though. Okay, well, thank you for respecting my decisions. And so... Penises are covered, so that's a stupid argument or excuse or whatever. And the majority of most American states and such are intact. I mean, there's a few states that still have quite a bit of circumcised men, but 
I mean, most are now intact, and seriously getting made fun of for being circumcised, um, there's a lot of things kids get, get made fun of for, so are you going to do a bunch of other weird things to prevent that? Like, get real. Um, I mean, what else should we change on a little kid? And you know what, if you tell any little kid about circumcision, they will be so disgusted. And that's why parents hide it from their kids when they have them circumcised. They don't tell their little boy, Oh, I had you circumcised when you were a baby. They'd be like, Ew, you're a sicko. Like, seriously. So, circumcision is wrong, and I know better, so I'm going to do better and not circumcise my son. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah. And I just wanted to add in, I did get a lot of comments back to these ones and such. Um, good comments. So, thank you, you viewers, who made the positive comments. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.